All right, what's up, guys? So, I'm gonna talk about busting balls with people, roasting each other, and what I think of it. And I do it sometimes. There's times where I bust balls on people. There's times where I do roast, like, other people. And it's a sign of, like, they like you, you know what I mean? It's a sign that, that they're cool with you, even though it sounds like they aren't because they're being sarcastic, right? But sometimes it could be so brutal to the point where it can hurt somebody. And when you roast each other or bust balls and someone is not like it, you need to stop right away, you know? You need to respect someone's sensitivity sometimes, you know? Not even sometimes, all the time. Because you never know what they go through. You never know their background, right? I see that shit at jobs all the time. They, people will be busting balls all the fucking time, and they don't even know the the new guy, right? And then they bust balls with him. They think, oh, he's okay with that. But first thing they do is they get mad, and they don't like that, you know. And a lot of these coworkers don't realize that they keep doing it, and they never stop, you know. Some of these. Like, not some. A lot of these coworkers will pretend to bust balls with you and say, oh, we're just joking and try to gaslight you into thinking that uh, we're just joking around, you know, even though they're putting you down, they don't like you, you know. But at the same time, people will not like you if they don't bust balls with you at work or, or like if you're in a friend group, for example. So a lot of people in friend groups like to bust balls, you know what I mean? I remember I used to do that with my one roommate. Because he was cool, I liked him. And it was it was like sometimes I would like to bust his balls, you know what I mean? But when things were too far, I would fucking stop, you know? It wouldn't be cool to fucking do that. Because at that point, you're just fucking teasing the person. You're bullying them, you know? That's the problem with that. And sometimes busting balls is annoying, too. Sometimes I just don't like doing it all the time. Some people just do it to the point where it's just like, like, come on, man, you gotta be serious about something, you know? Like, it gets annoying sometimes. But I think it's a good thing to do at work when things are like shitty at the job and sometimes to get through it you gotta bust each other's balls you know or roast each other about something just to get through it but a lot of times it goes too far unfortunately because the person said stop and they keep doing it like i said before and it's rude when someone doesn't want to participate in it and you're forcing someone to do it you know because they're doing it to you it's rude. People have different ways of communicating. People have different ways of, like, talking to people, you know? People need to respect that, you know what I mean? That doesn't make you soft or anything like that if you don't want to participate in ball busting or roasting, you know what I mean? So, I just do it myself because sometimes this shit fucking gets boring being serious sometimes i just have to fucking crack a joke or fucking roast you know what i mean like if the person likes it and the person does it to me that's even better you know makes it kind of interesting i guess right but yeah it goes too far it can get it can turn to bullying it can turn to teasing too much it could hurt somebody you know the person doesn't like it and all that shit, you know? That's the problem with, like, autism, too. Like, I have it, and... If you don't get, like, that they're joking and they're ball-busting, it's gonna be a problem, too. And... People... Don't respect that from you, you know? You just wanna... Do your own thing, right? And not joke around get over it but people have to be annoying and when you don't get their joke you uh get too literal with it uh 
that's that's when like some of these co-workers can take advantage of the someone that has autism you know they can make you seem like you're dumb or something how can you not get our joke how can you not get our sarcasm you know what i mean shit's fucking annoying maybe i'll talk about sarcasm in this video you know i'll say with me with my autism like i can be very sarcastic about a lot of stuff it's the way I put it out there, though, since my voice is pretty monotone. And a lot of people don't get that I'm, if I'm joking or not, you know what I mean, sometimes. Sometimes I can express myself. I have to really try hard to do it, but it's not in my nature. But I do get people's all, like, sarcasm and stuff. I don't really have a huge problem with that. That's the thing with the spectrum, like, it's... Uh, it's very broad, like, some people can catch sarcasm more than other stuff that they struggle with, with autism, you know? Some people can read people better, you know? Even though they struggle with other things with autism, it's a huge spectrum, you know? But yeah, uh, people can be sarcastic and put people down, too, that's a problem. And I don't like people like that. People will be sarcastic to someone because they're jealous of you. They'll be sarcastic because they're manipulating you and they're narcissists, right? And they try to gaslight you and say, you're sensitive. Oh, it's just a joke, like I said before. They'll say, like, um, stop being so serious, something like that, you know? Like, they, they take advantage of a person that has autism with sarcasm. These normies, that's for sure. So that, that's why you gotta, you gotta watch out for people that are sarcastic all the time, you know? That's like in their nature. Because they can use that to put someone down. Like, at my one job... Uh, that I used to work at I just quit today Because they're not giving me hours and shit So Back to the topic though uh, My one boss would Fucking be sarcastic To someone that has a learning disability Because uh, She doesn't get the How to do this stuff you know And she has she's been there for a year And They treat her like shit you know and they were being sarcastic in the office or something about her, you know? Because she needed something to do. She needed to work and try to get her hours, you know? It's kind of a shame, you know what I mean? They'll use sarcasm to put someone down. Especially someone that can't read it as well or, or is slow to get it, you know? That's kind of like me a little bit. There's times where I can read sarcasm well, but there's times where it's... It's it's like a little slower for me to get it, you know what I mean? That's kind of like how it is, you know? It's kind of like me slowing down at the red light. Like, if I press the brakes, uh, it's going to take me a little longer to get there, you know? But if someone doesn't hit the brakes that much or they don't hit the brakes at all, they're going to get there faster, right? So... Yeah, that's just me with the sarcasm part. So, uh... Yeah, they take advantage of people, these... These normies, with, uh... If they see you're neurodivergent, you... Have a learning disability or something... They'll use that to their advantage, you know? Because they know you won't get it, like, right away. Or you won't get it at all, you know? Which is fucked up. Like, kind of like my workplace... You know what I mean? Um, what's another thing with sarcasm? Uh, it's like a two uh, topics in one video. So, um, yeah, but like I said before, people will be sarcastic to you and put you down because they're jealous of you or something. You know, they don't they don't like you because you're doing something good and. 
that you're getting all the attention. So they gotta say something sarcastic to you, you know? Assholes, right? So, it's another one. Uh, I think that might be it, to be honest with you. I mean, like myself, like I'm, I could be very sarcastic. It's just, I can read people that are sarcastic a little more, but sometimes it can be difficult sometimes. Sometimes it can be a little slower. I can pick it up, like, say, like five minutes later or something. Sometimes I can't pick it up at all. That's once in a while, you know what I mean? Um... And then when I'm sarcastic, people don't get that I'm joking around or being serious because of my tone of voice. Because I'm mostly monotone, you know. But uh, I'll catch you guys with another one.